there. Oh, sorry. This is Runaway. Another one of my all-time favorites. I remember actually trying to order this as a kid um, in 96 from um, Palmer. 95 or 96. And they were supposed to get it for me within the month. And the month came and went and they claimed that they stopped making it and they couldn't find it. And then I remember going to a Caldor and a... Another peanut. Anyway, I remember going to a... Um, Bradley's and they recently and then they recently at that time printed it again another funny story about this movie is an, another because I love watching this movie because you know because what Mickey and Maude if anybody ever seen the original VHS had a preview for it at the end and of course you know I want to see it and since my aunt was a big Kiss fan she already had it and I watched it, I loved the movie, and come to find out, my teacher actually loved the movie, my middle school teacher. So, on her birthday, I figured bring my copy in to school, and show the kids, and and uh, we were allowed to watch PG-13 movies in school. And, um, this one kid, when there was a scene in this movie where one of the hookers, you actually see her with her top off, and this fucking kid goes up to the TV and starts licking his boobs. Now mind you, we're like fucking 11 years old. And the fucking teacher had to turn off the movie. <laughs> she was so pissed. It was great. Great story. Only, you only hear a shit like that from me. Nowhere else. <sighs> More peanuts. Go away. Alright, anyway. This is another series I'm collecting for, which is the, um, now this movie's Breakout, and anything with Charles Bronson is an instant hit to me. I'm such a fan of his work. And, um, also the nice clamshell. Um, here's the thing. Um, little backstory. Um, this is another series I'm collecting for, Columbia Pictures Home Entertainment. Because this is basically the first home video offshoot of uh, Columbia Pictures. And they only made a handful of tapes before they switched over to the RCA brand. And a lot of these are in deluxe clamshells. And you can see that it's actually, you know, pretty well designed. Um, a lot of these are in clamshells made for that tape. So that's another reason why I'm collecting for that. Um... You know, more for completion sake than anything. And then there's one final one. One second, I better put the camera over here. Because my friends are going to pop at this. And I would rather... Uh, my friends are going to pop at this. And I would rather hold it off until it's fully clean. Clamshell's a little beat up. But it's nothing really to write home about. Right. And I believe this is the final tape that I bought. Yes, it is. Okay. This is one that's going to make my friends freak the fuck out. Especially where and longtime wrestling fans are going to know about this movie as being instrumental in one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Yes, sir. Midnight Express. Very good movie. I know it's not um, factually based, you know, quote unquote, but still a pretty good movie nonetheless. A great Oliver Stone picture and great score by. Gigoro Moroder. I still can't pronounce the motherfucker's name. But, um... Very good film. But also, it it's it's historic. As a wrestling fan, I'm such a fan of the tag team, the Midnight Express. And this is where they got their gimmick from. This movie. And the, and the theme that they use, actually, is the chase theme from this movie. Um, and obviously, this is a later print. Because it has the... Has an RCA tape in here, um, so I'm guessing this is maybe a later print or whatever. But still, 
you know, just to have this movie for me personally is um, unreal. Okay. The clamp's still there. So... I know this video is slow paced. I'm not working with a script here, folks. I don't do shit like that. Well, you think I am. I know Deer Hunter is two tapes, but he only had the one, so he sent it to me for free. And which is good of him because you know I could use that as if I'm looking for a Betamax, I can use that as a testing tape. So here it is. The first. Oh shit. Here it is, the first of hopefully many more betas to come. Big things are happening here, I'm telling you. So for now, this is Johnny Blaze signing off.